Here's a guide on the different types of toggles for your VRChat avatar. If you haven't seen the previous video, I suggest watching that before this one. It'll go over the Boolean types of toggles. This video will go over different types of toggles that can be made with the three parameters Unity has. This isn't an extensive list, so please don't hesitate to experiment on your own time. The first kind of toggle we're talking about is the Boolean toggle. This is the most common type of toggle for avatars and is used to toggle something on or off. Booleans come from binary, which means it's either a 1 or a 0, a true or a false. Commonly, true means that the object or effect is on, and false usually means that it's off. It can be used to toggle all sorts of things, like objects, clothing, particle effects, and more. Parameters, which are variables that can be controlled in a variety of manners, can be stacked on each other in a controller like the effects controller. In this case, I have a set of expressions that I only want activated when this gesture toggle is off. When it's off, the expressions can then be toggled. If you're interested in a video going over Boolean gates, feel free to comment down below. To learn how to make a regular Boolean toggle, check out my previous video, which will be in the info card in the top right and in the description. The next toggle we'll be talking about is the integer toggle. This is also common, but works better than a boolean for a variety of features like color changes and expressions and object swaps. Integers range from 0 to 255 and can be 256 different values. If two or more of the menu controls use the same integer parameter, only one will be toggled at a time. To show the integer in action, we'll be using one to create a couple of color swaps. First, make sure you have an avatar set up with an effects controller, expression menu, and parameter list. Then, we'll create a few materials that have different textures or colors. An easy way to do this is to select the first material, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and rename the material to what you want. Then, either change the texture or change the color. For this, I'll use the Color Adjust and Hue Shift controls for Poyomi. Then, we'll make the animations. Go to the Animation tab. If you can't find it, press Ctrl plus 6 to go straight to it. Select your avatar, click the Create button, and choose a folder you'd like to put your animations in. You can also create a new folder in that window. We're going to be making the swapped color first. Name the animation whatever you want, like yellow. Click the Record button. Go to Project, go back to your material, and drag the new material onto your outfit. It should then record that change in your animation. To make the swap back easier, select the keyframe in the animation, the little diamond here, and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then go to the drop down here, click Create New Clip, and name it whatever you want. I'll name it Purple. Click the Record button, press Ctrl V to paste it while hovering over the animation window. This will put the change from the other animation in here, so overriding will be easier. Go back to your material folder, and drag the other material you made onto the outfit. That'll overwrite the old material and save the swap to the new animation. Then, go to your avatar, scroll down to the effects controller, and double click it. Click the plus in layers, and name it color swap. Make sure to set the weight to 1. Go to Parameters, click the plus, select Int or Integer, and rename the parameter to Color Swap. Go back to Layers, and drag in the two animations into the empty space. Make sure to give them some room. Right-click the one you want on by default and click Set as Layer Default State. If that's not available for the animation, it's already set for it. Right-click Any State, click Make Transition, and left-click on the first animation. Then, do the same thing for the other animation. Select the first transition, expand Settings, and set Transition Duration to 0. Go down to Conditions, click the plus, pick the parameter we just made, and set it to equals 0. Go up to Transitions, right-click, and select Copy Transition Parameters. Select your other transition, Right-click up here, and select Paste Both. Change the new value to 1. If you want to add more color swaps, follow the steps before, put the new animation below the others, and make the new transition with the new settings, and increment the value by 1. For this tutorial, I've made a new animation called Green, and made a transition with the value being 2. Go ahead and click on your avatar, scroll down till you see the parameters, and double-click it. Click the Add button, 
change the type to int or integer, and rename it to the same value you did in the effects controller. It's important that they're the same, otherwise it may not work. Change the default value to whichever value corresponds to the color you want to have on by default. I'm going to go with 0 so that the shirt will stay purple when you start up the avatar. Then, click back on your avatar, scroll down till you see the menu, and double click it. Create as many controls as you did color swaps. Rename them to the colors of your animations. Change the type to toggle. And set the parameter to the same one we've been using. Make sure to match the values to the ones you've set in your effects controller. So for instance, purple will be 0, yellow will be 1, and green will be 2. And that should be it! You can upload and test in VRChat, or you can use the Gesture Manager, which will let you test within Unity. You can download the latest version here, which will also be in the description and in the top right, and once it's installed, go to Tools, click Gesture Manager Emulator, and click the Enter Play Mode button on the right side in the inspector. You can test the color swap with the radio menu just as you would in VRChat. As you can see, the active toggle will change depending on which one you toggle. With the boolean toggle, multiple can be activated at once, while with this integer toggle, only one can be activated at a time. The float value is generally used for sliders and values that have a range, like volume, but it can also be used for toggles. A float has a range of negative 1 to positive 1, with any value being able to be put in between. For today, we'll be using a float to toggle a hat on the model whenever we talk in-game. First, make sure you have the avatar set up with an effects controller, expression menu, and parameter list. Then, find the model of the hat you want from online, or make it yourself and put it on your avatar. Then, parent it to the head so it doesn't go anywhere. Click your avatar, and go to the Animation tab. If you can't find it, press Ctrl plus 6 on your keyboard and you'll be brought right to it. Press the Create button, and find a place to put your animations. Name the first one, and put On as the suffix. Press the Record button, select your hat, and double-click the checkmark in the top right. Then, copy the keyframe diamond in the timeline by pressing Ctrl C after selecting it. Go to the drop-down menu on the left, click Create New Clip, and name it something similar to the last one, and make sure to put Off as the new suffix instead of On. Press Ctrl V and uncheck the box in the animation. Then, go to your avatar, scroll down to your effects controller, and double-click it. Click the plus in Layers, name it to whatever you want, and set the weight to 1. Drag in your two animations, Space them out, right-click the off animation, and select Make Transition. Then, click the other animation to set it in place. Then, do the same with the other animation. Then, we'll go to the Parameters tab. Click the plus, select Float, and name it Voice, with a capital V. The Voice parameter is used in-game to tell when a person is talking, which we'll be able to use to activate the hat. Select the first transition you made, expand the settings, set exit time and transition duration to zero, and turn off has exit time. Click the plus at the bottom in conditions, select the new parameter we just made, and set it to greater. This is where we can experiment a little bit. The voice parameter is your volume in game, so if you want to have it activate whenever you speak, set the value low. But if you want it to happen only when you're making a lot of noise, set it higher. For this tutorial, I'll set it low so that it can activate whenever I talk. Go to the top, right-click the transition, click Copy Transition Parameters, go to your other transition, go to the top, right-click, and select Paste Both, and change the condition to Less. What this will do is transition to the off state whenever the volume gets below the value we set. Then, go to your avatar, scroll down to the parameters list, double-click it, click Add, and put in the new parameter we made. Set the type to float and the value to zero. Now you can test in game. The hat should now toggle whenever you talk or however loud you get. This isn't limited to just toggling an object either. In the future, I can go over more ways to use the float value in VRChat. If you're interested in that and more tutorials from me in the future, feel free to like and subscribe. Comment what tutorials you'd like to see next. That's all I have for today. Crispy out.